Today's fast thought is brought to you by Field Agent. Field Agent has created 360 Innovation Booster, which helps you get an immediate read on what's happening with your launch at retail, kickstart sales in store and online, and get initial feedback from real Canadian consumers who have tried your product. To check these guys out, head to fieldagentcanada.com 360. I'm trying to understand something, okay? We're spending all this time, okay? And this is going to sound way worse than it is because it's usual because it's just going to be on a rant. So we're spending all this time, <laughs> okay? You go make me write all these blog posts. Yep. I do all the ingredients yep. and the OGBTs. I talk about cinnamon and ginger. Yeah. I go get, we go get the people we've sold to. I get the logos. We put the products on the page. We got some good pricing. I think the pictures are okay. Maybe not the best, but they're yep. okay. Yeah. And, you know, and then I'm just waiting now for like, what's going to happen? I understand. Yeah. yeah like yeah, seriously, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah. you, you know, it's, it sounds like, you know, we're always, we're scripting these. I don't know what the hell, we're, I don't understand <laughs> why this is not working the way I want it to work. Explain it to me, please. Okay. So yeah, you're right. Like, so, so when we started um, doing SEO for OGB, uh, Kenny, I've never been shy about sharing this stuff, right? We we didn't have any, we didn't rank for keywords and we didn't have traffic. We had nothing. So essentially when I say we didn't have keywords, it means that Google didn't know what we stood for or what we sell or why we sell it, right? Which means when people are going in and looking for instant tea or micro ground tea or anything of the sort, we wouldn't pop up because we're not known for those words, right? And so we started, um, you know, just like we've been sharing here and, you know, on YouTube and and with BC Food, um, you know, we, we did our own organic keywords and we started, um, we started putting out there. So we started using a consistent set of 10 words. So we started getting ranking. So we actually, um, after a couple of months, we, we broke 10. We've actually, we now rank for 20 keywords. So that means when people look for 20 specific words on or any combination of those words um, on Google, we actually rank for those words. So we'll pop up and search, right? So what Kenny's asking now is we we now we now rank. So we're being found, but nobody's not nobody, but very few people are buying or less people than we desire. Are, I say, are well, buying where's the product. people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the part so, that drives me crazy is, you know, yeah. and I and I, you know, and I'm, I try to be patient because I actually, I actually understand more of this than I yeah, live yeah, on. Yeah. But where are they? Yeah. So what we have to figure out now is they are coming to the site and they're shopping, and they're spending some time on the site, but they're going away. So there's something that's not working on the site that isn't convincing them to buy. So we haven't really, there, we we've, we've done something. We're not shitty compelling pictures. Them. It could be shitty pictures. It could be shitty content. Maybe we no, optimize for that. SEO. Listen, we we might have we might have optimized for SEO and then and then washed away some of how compelling we are, right? Yeah, okay. But but the only that. way to know that now is to track what's happening on your site, right? So you you can do some old school things. So we can we can screw around with pricing. We have a pretty good value on the product, so you could screw around with pricing, see if that attracts them more. You could also, um, but you can also like do some analytic stuff. You can use something like Hotjar or some of these ones, which we've just installed um, that tracks what people do on websites. So when they come in, they start clicking on things to start moving around. We can see where they stop moving, right? So that's what I, I want to know now is where do they stop moving? Because that's the broken part. That'll tell me, hey, I got here. This didn't make sense or this you, wasn't compelling. It doesn't compelling. necessarily tell you exactly what it is though. So if they stop, uh, no, it'll the just tell you shop, where the, yeah. Do so if, it, if picture, it breaks it the description? on the, yeah. So it'll tell you where it, they stop and where they leave. So some of that will help you with, Hey, like hmm. there's something in this that's broken. The other things that we have been doing is we're collecting emails, right? So we've asked people, there's a pop-up that comes up, there's subscribe buttons all over the place so that we can now contact them by email to say, Hey, you were on the site. You didn't buy what can I do to convince you to buy? So there's a bunch of things here that we we've learned that we're going to try and activate to try and drive more traffic to the that site. only again that that so. only works if they've subscribed, right? If they don't subscribe, correct. correct. If they, they don't subscribe, away, I don't yeah. know what the hell they bounced away on. Nope. 
So, so the only thing we could do is take some analytics from that and go, if, are they consistently bouncing away at the same point? Are they okay. skimming over text? Like, are they figuring out, like, do they skip parts of, or do they stop in certain parts and then leave? Right. Mm -hmm. All of those things tell us things about what we're doing wrong. It would be, if this was a physical store, Kenny, those are those spots where you go, I built an end and nobody bought anything off the end. So I screwed up. Okay. Well, right. Well, I built yeah, the wrong so end. So usually what I'll right? do that, or okay, so I don't how do have I do enough this online? signs. So that's exactly what I would do is I would install okay. something like hot jar or something like that. See. Um, that kind of gives you a footprint that shows you where they stop, you mm -hmm. know, and that helps you start to figure out like what's broken about it. Right. So. See, because my gut's telling me, I wonder mm -hmm. if even like, if I look at it, I wonder if the pictures are even all screwy in that they're like, yeah. this kind of disjointed. I mean, I think yeah. they, they load alphabetically to be honest with you. So the only yeah. way to change that, I think what we'd have to do is maybe we do, maybe we should, the food service one, we should say FS dash and then whatever it is yeah we'll have Maybe to look that's... at shopify's way we we do it on shopify so we'll have to look at the way they categorize and and maybe because we need to somewhere. build a proper category so that right. they're categorized properly right but um so in case you're wondering right so kenny and i've talked about seo and you know if you've if you've done any of the work and now you're kind of going thanks guys like yeah, where what they? the f right like so i did it where they build it they will come <laughs> they do come um, and, and we are, we're getting organic traffic. We're starting to see backlinks. We're seeing people quote our sites. We'll, we're seeing that people share the links. So that stuff's starting to come. Now we just need to figure out like what's in our messaging that isn't quite working. Right. So we need to figure that out. So seriously though, so, cause it's, yeah. it's, it's yours yeah. as well as mine. What's, what's the, so you put in that, that thing, hot thing, hot jar. Call, hot yep. jar. So we'll try to go from there. Yep. Or do we, or do we just, do we test some assumptions? Like I'm wondering, like, I'm wondering if it's the, even the way the pictures are, I know it sounds stupid, yeah. but if it's disjointed to me before I get there, what yep. motivates me to continue? No, the, the, I, that? I think, like, I think instincts that, that, that you have, like instincts that you have, because you're, you're, you're a retailer, but you're also a consumer, right? So if you think the site's hard to shop, it's probably hard to shop, right? Um, oh, and yeah, so, like so like the instinct you have is a good one. We should be going back. We'll, we'll have to go and kind of clean them up and see if we can do something, you know, to, to, okay. Maybe to... we should try it farther on later. Cause maybe yeah, what we should yeah. try to do is maybe it's, yeah. because I think it's alphabetical. I, I I'm pretty sure that's how it does what mm -hmm. it does. Mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. don't, then, it, then if that's, that's a mindless fix, I mean, the small ones we call craft, the mid ones we call themselves. Yeah. And the yeah. other ones we put yeah. in FS like food service. Yeah. And if that lines them up a little better, then yep. maybe that's yeah. the way to do but, it. But this is kind of how you do, I guess this is kind testing. of how you do e-commerce, right? As you start testing. And this is what we would call AB testing, right? So you kind of go, I have an A, <laughs> the A's not working. Let's try the B, right? And yeah. you measure it in traffic, you measure it in clicks and you measure it in purchases, right? So- Well, the traffic's um, gotten better. You know, Traffic's gotten better. They're, they're clicking. Yeah, they're clicking. You can see it. So we have two of the three metrics, right? But ultimately, right, but we want, want the purchases. So I want the last one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't yeah. be the last one. I don't, yeah. Oh, yeah. The first ones are nice, but yeah. You know, let's yeah. go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me. We got. Okay. Let me. Be, okay. Maybe yeah. testing. We'll, we'll play with it. Just drive me crazy. Just... Hey. So um, this was our fast thought um, for this week. We know this is slightly different from what we normally do, but uh, what we thought is we'd also try and give you a look at, you know, what running a real business looks like and the things that people think about, right? Because we we think that lots of people, we know lots of people worry about this, lots of people think about it, but nobody talks about it. And so this is us running a real business, um, giving you I, kind I of, you know, the things. I want to understand how this yeah. works. Yeah. Like, I, I really want to understand what, what, what can we do to, 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 in essence, I guess fix it. Yeah, it's not even broken though. More. It's like, I don't know. It's, yeah. I don't. I don't know if it's broken. There's got to be something. We, we don't know. We we gotta do well, something. Okay. What we know is that it's not converting yet. Right. No. It's not converting at the rate no. we would like it to. Right. And so, when you start getting traffic and you start getting clicks, but you don't get purchases, wow. and it's kind of like everyone coming into your store and looking around and then leaving. Right. So it means we got something wrong. So either they're the wrong audience, we got lots of people in there that are the wrong people. Or there's something about us that's not compelling enough for them to go, no, I want to stay and buy something, right? So right. we just got to figure out what that is. So. Okay.
Okay. Anyway, okay. so if you like this, um, like it, subscribe. Uh, and then if you hate it, tell us that. If you like it or you have more questions, um, you know, send, shoot us a note and let us know. We'd, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks, guys.